If you hear me, if you hear me, if you hear me, here, here, Lord, just a know. Just a know. Just a know if you hear me. Yeah, yeah. And Lord, I hear you. I hear you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you hear me and you're not satisfied with your circumstances, and I don't like to do this, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And if your situation now has annoyed you to the point, to the point it's breaking you down and leaving you in tears, eating your appetite. He's here. He's here. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. The Lord told me to tell you this. That I've heard your prayers. I've heard your prayers. And when Eli began to speak, the lady said, let me find grace. And she ate. And those words that came off of his lips caused her not to be sad. No more. Thank you, Lord. There's some men in this place right now. Then the Lord say you're heavy and you're tired. And he said, this is the wrong time to miss me. He said, you prayed about it. Yes. You almost gave up. And he said, even right now as I'm speaking, some of you are trying to give up right now. God want to remove that heaviness today. He said, and in that day, the yoke shall be destroyed by the Lord. And the burden shall be removed. He said, I'm going to release into your life a day of jubilee. And I need to speak into some women right now that have been through some bruising relationships. And I heard God say that the women just said to themselves, Lord, that's me. Yes. They said, I've been through some bruising relationships. And this thing is painful. See if I need you to come up. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. See if I need you to come up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Come here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you right now, God. And Father, we thank you right now, God, for those God, they have been bruised in relationships. Father, we thank you right now, God, for your good and powerful healing hand, God. God, some don't want others to know, God, the pain, God, that they're experiencing right now. But God, is a whole serious hand in the name of Jesus, God. God, you are a healer, God. God, you can heal right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, you're saying right now, God, some of them feel like I've been through trauma. But God, I believe in the name of Jesus, God. This, this is that day, God, of recovery, God. This is that day of recovery in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, I didn't know why you had me to to grab Simeon's hand, but God, I hear you right now, God. And God is saying right now that I have some people in your life right now to help you heal. If you would just let your guards down. Yes, yes. Let me tell you how, how the Lord did this. I experienced 
here for us. And a lot of times when me and the spirit divorce, we want to run rampant and get the spirit of a whore. I'm just saying what God is saying. And what the Lord said, I sent somebody into your life that was mature enough to help heal you. And what the Lord is saying right now, it's in the building. It's all over this building. The Lord said, you got to learn how to receive his healing from his vessels. Thank you, Lord. And if I ever tell you what the Lord is saying, the Lord is healing you right now. So you need to hug her fast. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just hug her. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for everybody in this building. All over this building, God, there's brokenness. But God, I decree and declare, God, by your anointing, God, that you're going to put them back together. You're going to repair the breaches, God, in the name of Jesus, God. The building is God. How God, yes. God, some have cried out, God, and feel like, why do I keep praying? The Lord has granted your request. And I decree right now, God, that your anointing, God, will touch those areas, God. By your hand, God, by your power, by your might. And if you need God to heal you, just lift up your hands. Just lift up your hands. Just lift up your hands. I hear God saying he's healing right now. He's healing right now. Just tell the Lord, thank you. Just tell the Lord, thank you. He knows all you've been through. Year after year. He knows all that has provoked you. But the Lord is changing things for you right now. He's changing some things for you right now. He's shifting some things for you right now. And as he's shifting those things for you right now, he wants you to have the right attitude so that you don't get so biffed and lifted up with pride when, and you say, look what the Lord has done. Don't just tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, I just want to say thank you. Open your mouth and just tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just worship him right now. Just offer up your sacrifice of praise. Offer up your sacrifice of worship right now. This is the best time to do it. Thank you, Lord. Can't nobody sacrifice for you. Yes. Can't nobody worship for you. And I don't know why the Lord is letting me hear people right now, but the Lord hears you. He's granting your request. And I don't really want to call names, but later the Lord says he know what that relationship done to you. And this is not for a woman that's alone to but he says he know what that relationship done to you. But he's healing you. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for this healing time. And Father, I thank you for this breakthrough. And Father, I thank you for the promises that we, your people, have prayed and made, God. And God, how you answered our prayers, and not only you answered our prayers, but you gave us more than what we asked for. Your prayer that you pray is going to impact the kingdom. Why I say that? Because when Hannah prayed, God didn't just give her a regular son. God gave her a Samuel, and he impacted lives and the kingdom 
even till right now. Thank you, Lord. Father, I give you praise, honor, and glory. It is in Jesus' mighty name. Let us all say, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Thank you, Lord.